Good morning, everybody. Today, let us talk about the concepts of modernism and postmodernism. To begin with, let us start with modernism. Modernism is a catch-all catch term for the numerous artistic and cultural movements of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In critical parlance, these appear to be the no difference between modern modernity and modernism. But definitely we have some difference between these terms of modern, modernity and modernism. Let us try and understand these terms. Modern in the general sense may mean something new or novel. But in true literal sense, it refers to the religious transition of the 6th century. A time when Roman paganism embraced Christianity. Moreover, modern was defined in relation to the ancient or the classical. The term modernity is also known as enlightenment or the period of the liberal humanism. If modern ranges from 6th century AD to almost 14th century AD, roughly the period of modernity ranges from the mid 17th century to the last quarter of the 19th century. It is a period of scientific awakening, discovery of new rules, a period of commercial outbreak to the West with which the other countries are connected. It is also the period of reasoning, reason replacing the period of faith. It is a period when theocentrism is replaced with humanism or man as the center of the universe. The most important advocators of modernity are the philosophy of Francis Bacon, Hobbes, John Locke, Rousseau, Descartes, Immanuel Kant and various others have affected the development of modernity in the West. It is the period of certain cornerstone ideas such as unity, truth, subjectivity, liberty, progress and so many other metaphysical thoughts. Modernism, on the contrary, is a cultural movement that started in the West around 1890 and was dominated by the philosophy of a few important persons like Frederick Nietzsche, Karl Marx, Charles Darwin, Sigmund Freud, or Sir James Fraser. Rather, concentrated for the most part of the urban centers like Paris, Vienna, London, Berlin, and New York, including Chicago, modernism signifies a widespread revolution in the arts of music, painting, architecture, philosophy, and literature associated with a wide variety of creative individuals ranging from Arnold Schoenberg, Pablo Picasso, James Joyce, T.S. Eliot, Virginia Woolf, William Faulkner and Franz Kafka. The intellectual roots of the modernist phenomena extended back to the late 18th and 19th centuries with figures as disparate as Immanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer, Gustav Flaubert and Frederick Nietzsche. Modernism is characterized by the rejection of tradition, aestheticism, aesthetic self-consciousness, abstraction or non-representationalism, discontinuity and a heightened sense of the irrational, subjective and the absurd. The intellectual roots of modernism lie in the transcendental ideas of Immanuel Kant's 1781 essay, The Critique of Pure Reason, that he published in 1854. It believes that what we know as reality is in fact the product of the categories of our own cognition of time, space, causality or casuality, relativity and so on. Absolute reality or divine Godhead or the thing in itself cannot be known through the human perception. Aristotelian notion of art as mimesis, art should be didactic with moral or ethical teachings and art as a result of the divine inspiration become extremely problematic in this insight. Kant proposes that the artist chooses the form and purpose of the work of art alone. The work of art forms a universe of its own and the artist is its sole creator. From this modernist viewpoint came the turn of the century 
trend which is what is called as aestheticism or the art for art's sake. The language of science is logical discourse is essentially denotative while the language of aesthetics is evocative and connotative nuances of language. This specialization and specification between aesthetic ideas and rational discourse gives modernist art its often apparently discontinuous abstract and sometimes irrational or surreal quality. The expression of the subjective realities was given impetus by the psychoanalysis of Sigmund Freud. Freud's discovery of the unconscious explains what lies hidden from the domain of the conscious mind. What is expressed often through the unusual metaphoric symbolism of the individual's dream world. Freud and Kant believe that the individual is divorced from the invisible or understand, understandable world, be it the unconscious or the noumena. This suggests that the modernism contains the liberated and alienated individual consciousness from the objective reality. The issue of the alienation of the self becomes a major theme in the modernist work of art. The 19th century roots of existentialism are very closely associated with the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche, who is an important modern writer. And his overall influence on the spirit of modernism is enormous. Not only his radical condemnations of the Christian religion, middle class value systems and European culture and civilization in general, which contributed to the modernist rejection of all prior tradition, but also his far reaching modernist sensibility of radical doubt and radical nihilism. Nietzsche's extreme pessimism stood as a counterpart to the cultural optimism. Added to these was the notion of the origin of species by Charles Darwin. His principle of evolution replaced the Western belief in the Bible, God and religion with a rationalism and scientific approach to everything. The socio-political and economic understanding of the modern society is shaped by the next interesting modern writer who is Marx, Karl Marx. The society is completely shaped by the Marxian notion of pyramid structure with the structure of superstructure. These philosophies shook the Western worldview like an earthquake and opened a new period that dominated Western music, architecture, economics, sociology, psychology, magic, religion, music, and literature. From 1890 to 1922 is the period which is called as the early modernism or paleo-modernism and from 1922 to 1945 is the later part of modernism which is also called as the high modernism. Early modernism is found mainly in the form of movement which are called as the avant-garde movements. Avant-garde something very new, drastically new that one can ima cannot imagine such as number one is Dadaism. Dadaism is founded by the Romanian poet in 1917 in Zurich. It is a nihilistic movement by Tristan Zara and he belie it believes in the negative philosophy of life. It believes in absurdity, scandal and subversion of human life. Dadaism is characterized by man's madness where restoring the lost purity has become difficult. The next avant-garde movement of early modernism is Surrealism. In 1915, this movement grew directly out of Dadaism. Andrea Breton, under the influence of Freudian philosophy, stated or started this movement. This is to go beyond realism. It believes that psychological or mental fantasy is greater than the reality in human life. Fantasy should never be dismissed. When the human mind is reality, fantasy also is a reality. So realism exploits dreams, fantasy, hallucinations, mental sicknesses, psychological problems and document them in the human expression of literature as well as art. The third avant-garde movement in early modernism is futurism followed by cubism. Futurism and cubism are the minor movements of the age. Futurism is a literary movement originated in Italy in 1910. Under the influence of Filippo Tomasco Marinette in painting, it means a poetry of motion 
whereby the tainted just charge should become actually a dynamic condition. The figures in the picture or the words in literature express the state of mind of the painter or the artist. Futurism is to liberate art from traditionalism. Cubism, on the contrary, is a collage of art or painting. So Cubism and Futurism become the avant-garde movements along with the next movement called Symbolism. Symbolism and imagery are to create mental pictures through words. These were the pathfinding movements and modernism expresses the rationality, rather the lamentation over the loss of past unity, rationality, center of authority, reason and logic. Moreover, early modernism had an affinity with the mass art. It was feel, felt that low or high art or mass art and class art should be fused together. Then we move ahead to the high modernism between 1922 and 1960. Early modernism gave way to high modernism where movements were replaced by individual texts. High modernism began with the publication of James Joyce's text, Ulysses, in 1922, and also T.S. Eliot's very famous text, The Wasteland, almost in the same year, 1922. High modernism theoretically agreed to and accepted the existence of mass art. It looked for the death as it is in everything. High modernism is found in the writings of Mosca, William James, Freud, Bergson, Virginia Woolf, Malam, Brecht, Tristan Zara, and so on and so forth. Roughly speaking, the following are the salient features of modernism. They agreed and accepted death, destruction, war, chaos, as we find in Mosca, William James, Freud, Bergson, Ezra Pound, Pablo Picasso, Brecht, Wolf, and others. The salient futures of modernism could be talked about as, number one, it is about novelty or newness in artistic practices. Number two, it is radical and violent break in politics and political change. Number three, it is the same thing that cut apart from the mass culture. Modernism is opposed to bourgeois social realism or circuit realism. And hence, as a fourth point, it is in search for depth. Number five, modernism believes in search for inward and the psychological. Therefore, it replaces the social realism with the psychological realism and it is a challenge to the beliefs. Number six, modernism believes that nothing is wholly said about human experiences. Fantasy in is itself reality. Search for the unconsciousness. Search for the structures. Search for the expression of these symbols or the unconscious is the appropriate symbols and imagery is what it believes. Modernism is not concerned with content or form, but with the medium itself and the abstractness at all levels is being observed. Modernism is a philosophy which believes the fancy and dreams are promoted. The unconscious expression through symbols and images is observed. Abstractness is appreciated all through. It nourishes nihilism and pessimism and searches for subjective expression. Modernism is a philosophy that nurses nihilism and pessimism about the entire world. So poems like The Wasteland become the key texts of this period. It also is a search for subjective expressions and therefore the subjective experiences filling the gap between the outer as well as the inner. And hence it is characterized by a sense of alienation as a dominant theme of the modern literature as part of nihilistic agenda, modernism also introduced existentialism and the literature of the absurd. Alienation at all levels and the question of existentialism in this world is being the question of literature as well as art belonging to modernism. The theater of absurd has developed because of this modernistic inquiry. In criticism, it promotes objective analysis just like structuralism promotes. 
It becomes the manifest through the formalistic schools of critical thought and structuralism and linguistic criticism. So modernism is a period of revolutionary ideas and program in the intellectual field of the West. It is an intellectual excavation of the Western thought in the entire 20th century or rather the middle of 20th century. Postmodernism to a larger extent is a cancellation of the modernist thought and practices and hence postmodernism is not a complement to the modernism by a larger extent. In this video we talked about what modernism is. In the next video let us explore what postmodernism is. Thank you for being a part of this video. Bye for now.